First of all, you navigate to the um, AP course audit website, which you see on the screen. And Melissa, if you'll go ahead and log in. All right. So once you get logged in, that should take you to, to your school. Um, at this point, you want to add course. All right, and then you, um, you go to the, which subject are you teaching? Pick your course. Click continue. Um, add course. Go ahead and add course. All right. And then if you'll scroll down a little bit there, Melissa. So notice on your screen, you've got some options here. First of all, the, the one in blue, the one that's active is complete course audit form. If you'll go ahead and click on that. And then just kind of scroll down a bit. So guys, essentially what you're doing here is agreeing that you're going to follow all the college board policies. You have to check agree on each one of these, or they're not going to approve your audit. But make sure you read it and understand what you're agreeing to. All right, just keep on scrolling down. So there's some curricular requirements also. It's essentially just saying you're going to follow the AP curriculum. Uh, it also wants you to tell them what textbook you're using. Now, there may be a handful of you that aren't using a textbook. You can't tell them that here. They want a textbook. So if you're not using a textbook, I, I wouldn't tell you to lie, but you've got to pick a textbook. So, so pick a textbook. All right, and then you can just keep scrolling down. There's a few teacher questions. And what, what I would recommend here, it, first of all, the qu first question is asking, are you going to use their unit-based uh, model? I would recommend you check yes here. Uh, and also, I would recommend you, you tell them that you're going to use their online resources. And, and those are really good. So I think it'll be worth your time to use those. All right, you have to digitally initial it there, bottom. All right, if you'll hit submit for administrator approval. All right, and then scroll down again. All right, so something else we can do is submit course document. All right, if you'll just scroll down a little bit further. All right, so you've got several things you can do here, guys. When they first started this audit process, um, all teachers were required to develop this really complicated, uh, comprehensive syllabus. And a lot of times they did it, and then the, the, their syllabus wasn't approved because they left something out of the curriculum. They didn't include it in their syllabus. That is still an option. You can do submit new or revised syllabus. I would not recommend that. You also can claim identical to a syllabus that one of your peers is using, another teacher somewhere else. I also would not recommend that option. What I would recommend if you want to get this audit out of your way is to choose option number four which is adopt unit guides or a sample syllabus. If you click on that, um, scroll down just a bit. First of all, it's gonna make you open up the document to look at it. So you can just click on that icon down at the bottom. It wants to make sure you download a copy, so go ahead and hit download. And then you can hit submit. All right, scroll down just a little bit for me there. So I think they already got our textbook, but let's let's check the, if you'll check on click on the textbook approved button. I think that's already taken care of. Yeah, so that's good. So one thing in this APSI that I'm asking you guys to do is essentially send me a screenshot that you submitted all of your required materials. So if you will hit um, shift and the print print screen key on your computer at this point. That's just going to take a screenshot of your screen. Um, at this point, you as the teacher can't do any more. 
what I want you guys to do after you get to this point is contact your AP coordinator at your school and tell them, hey, I've, I've done everything I can on the AP audit. Can you please go in and approve it? Once your AP coordinator goes in and approves it, you'll have access to all the College Board resources, which includes the AP Classroom, which we'll talk about later on. Okay, I need you guys to submit your um, your screen here that you that you did your uh, approval, that you did your audit. So what I'd like for you to do now is open up a, just a Word document or some kind of Word processor. And you're just gonna paste that screenshot into a, a Word document. Just a control V or just go to paste, either one. So there's your screenshot. Um, save it as whatever you wanna save it as on your computer. And then once you do that, I want you to turn it in in, um, in Canvas. So, Melissa, if you'll go back into that Canvas course and just go back to the modules. Yep. And if you'll scroll down just a bit where it says Audit Form Submission Verification. Click on that one. And then, guys, you want to click on Submit Assignment up at the top right of the screen. You'll just scroll down a bit and you'll choose under file upload, you'll choose file. You'll tell it where your AP audit form is, click open. And then sub submit assignment. And that'll take care of it. 